Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 23rd of January. Uh, One year ago today, we had a horrible tornado outbreak that killed two people in Jefferson County during the pre-dawn hours. We can be thankful we have nothing like that today. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots around the network uh, early this morning. These were captured at uh, 5 o'clock. Who should be awake at that hour of the day? Here's a look at downtown Clanton in Chilton County. It's clear and cold. It's like clear. It's, some high clouds have moved in, but uh, fair would be a better word. There's the Coleman Skycam to the north. That's U.S. Highway 278. And our downtown Birmingham Skycam as a scene from the Daniel Building looking off to the uh, west-southwest. Still got the trough in place over the east, ridge over the west. Temperatures this morning are in the 30s. They actually bottomed out earlier, uh, like 1, 2 a.m., but they started rising a bit with high clouds moving in and winds beginning to kick up a little bit. And around the nation, still very cold up north, but the air is beginning to modify a little bit. Uh, some folks are above zero for the first time in, uh, in a few days up there. There's a watch warning map. Things pretty quiet around the nation. And this is the rain for the next five days. I'm I'm sorry. This is the rain for the next seven days that carries us through Wednesday morning of next week. And we're starting to see an increase in rain over Arkansas and Missouri with a potential system by the middle of next week. And that's a great mystery. We'll talk about that in the extended part of the forecast. But uh, let's look at the uh, winter weather probabilities from HPC. This is the chance of greater than one inch of snow. From the period 6 a.m. Friday morning until 6 a.m. Saturday. And uh, all the accumulation snow, accumulating snow should be northeast of here. And I think that's right. Uh, friends up in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge and Knoxville and Asheville, uh, they could see some snow. But uh, down here, if anything happens, it would be related to freezing rain. Uh, this is the chance of uh, ice accumulation, greater than one hundredth of an inch of ice. Now, this is the map valid from tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock until Friday morning at 6 o'clock. And notice there is some chance over North Alabama. And this is for the period beginning at 6 o'clock Friday morning. And the numbers are actually pretty high over the uh, north and east central part of the state. Uh, and, And that's obviously one thing we'll look at. And if we have any issues, it would be late tomorrow night into early Friday morning. And that's why we're having to show you both maps. It's kind of splitting the the time frame there. And and we'll look at that in detail. First off today, this is the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid at noon today. We've got a northwest flow aloft. And down below that, the day should be dry. But clouds will probably begin to increase slowly. Uh, The high should be in the middle 50s, about 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. So back where we should be. Now, this is tomorrow at noon. And uh, not much rain shows up with this, but there's going to be a surface boundary that will be kind of bisecting the state. And on that boundary, there could be a touch of light rain tonight and tomorrow. But with limited moisture, obviously, you know, rain's going to be very light and very spotty. And a lot of folks will not have enough rain to measure. But that front will be bisecting the state. And you can really see it in the thermal fields there. This is these are the two meter temperatures projected at uh, 12 noon tomorrow off the NAM, the the high-res NAM, the four-kilometer NAM, and the front should be roughly along U.S. 80, Demopolis, Montgomery, Opelika. South of that boundary, you've got 60s. North of that boundary, 30s and 40s. Up there on the Tennessee border, they're sitting in the 30s tomorrow afternoon. Uh, And shallow cold air is very difficult to handle by models. We all know that simply because of the grid resolution, but this is the, you know, best uh, NAM I can give you. So, I think tomorrow could be a pretty cold day for uh, the northern half of the state, and I think the the guidance numbers are probably too high. Uh, The NAM has a high of 47, and that that'll be fairly close to correct. I think mid 40s tomorrow. So that shallow layer of cold air settles in here during the day tomorrow, and then this impulse comes in, you know, tomorrow night and Friday. This is noon and Friday with with the GFS. So the question is, do we have any freezing rain with this? Now, the the cold air is very shallow. There's no snow here. Again, if anything happens, it would be freezing rain. We'll look at the four-kilometer NAM, and this is valid Friday morning at 6 o'clock. And the blue line, that is where the surface temperature should be 32. And you can see a little light rain here. And and that freeze line is running from roughly... uh, 
Huntsville down to about uh, Talladega and Roanoke. So this is suggesting there might be a little window uh, late tomorrow night, early Friday, for a bit of bridge icing over east or northeast Alabama. But the warmth, you know, that that boundary is going to be lifting north as a warm front uh, during the evening. And, and, you know, how that progresses, that's going to be the determining factor if we have any ice issues at all. Um, but remember, it is often very hard to scour out the cold air from some of these colder pockets and valleys over east and northeast Alabama. We all know that. But for most of us, it's just going to be rain late tomorrow night and Friday. But look at the RPM. It's been so bullish on, on freezing rain, and I really don't know why. It's got the freezing rain almost down to Montgomery, and that just doesn't make any sense. Uh, the, the shades of, of purple you see there, that would be freezing rain. Uh, so for now, we, we're not going to consider that solution and consider that an outlier. So for most of us, just some rain late tomorrow night and Friday. Don't think it rains a whole lot, but maybe a window for a period of freezing rain across northeast Alabama late tomorrow night, early Friday with a little bridge icing. So we'll kind of leave it at that and fine tune the forecast as we get closer. Now, Saturday, as we start the weekend, all that's gone. Uh, Saturday should be a, a pretty decent day. Uh, the sky becoming partly sunny. And really, you know, there's no cold air for a while. There was an idea of some really cold air getting in here this weekend. The temperatures look seasonal. Highs low to mid-50s. And really the same thing on Sunday. Lows in the 30s, highs in the 50s, exactly average for this time of the year. We stay dry, but moisture starts to increase. And then Monday, boy, these are problematic. One of these, you know, southwest United States upper lows. It's got the thing near Los Angeles. or actually about halfway between Los Angeles and uh, San Francisco at midday Monday, and how that thing lifts out, who knows. Uh, this is Monday at noon. We're dry. Tuesday, enough moisture for a few showers, but not much rain. And Wednesday, the GFS just leaves it back there. It doesn't move at all. It, you know, it's basically over, you know, the northern part of Baja, California, Mexico. And accordingly, you know, a little rain is possible Wednesday, but not much. We have seen some runs that look wet and stormy. You know, and, and we're going to be warm. These thickness values represent highs up in the 60s, maybe pushing 70. And that, of course, means, you know, instability. And we'll have to watch for some big storms. But we just don't know how this thing's going to lift out. And, and again, if this solution is right, just a little light rain Wednesday. And really, uh, it's not until the end of next week we, you know, have a better rain. This is Friday, the 1st of February. And got a low in the Gulf. But it's not really cold enough for snow here. So, Again, at some point, we should have a decent rain event toward the middle or end of next week. We just don't know the details yet. And the end of the forecast on the 7th of February, high amplitude with a uh, trough ridge trough. We're more under the ridge, and that would look uh, fairly quiet and tame if that's right. And we all know that's a big if. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. Don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News and the live stream of the television side this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at BigBrainsMedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.